published, 5.01 Eastern Daylight Saving Time, the 7th of May 2018, updated, 7.28 Eastern Daylight Saving Time, the 7th of May 2018. There were plenty of talking points across the Premier League and the rest of England this weekend as Arsenal boss Arsene Wenger said goodbye to the Emirates Stadium with a 5-0 thrashing of Burnley, while Chelsea kept their Champions League hopes alive. Here, Sports Mail's Ralph Ellis takes a look at what we can take away from the top flight happenings, as well as delivering a few pointers and what went on in the Football League. 1. Teenager Trent Alexander-Arnold has pushed his World Cup case by showing great versatility after being used as a midfield man in Liverpool's defeat at Chelsea. He wasn't always at his best, but still set. Up a couple of good chances as the Reds tried to claw back Olivier Giroud's early goal. Only James Milner, 54, played more accurate forward half passes than the 42 achieved by the 19-year-old. Liverpool's Trent Alexander-Arnold showed he has great versatility ahead of the World Cup too. It's not hard to see why Everton fans have fallen out with Sam Allardyce for his lack of adventure since ensuring the club's Premier League survival. Only Big Sam, with the score at 0-0 against relegation threat and Southampton, could have taken off an attacking player in Yannick Bolassi and replaced him with another centre-half after just 45 minutes. The result was to invite Sense to attack, and it wasn't until 10 minutes from the end when Davy Klaassen replaced Phil Jagielka that Everton threatened to get an equaliser. Sam Allardyce showed a lack of adventure in Everton's 1-1 draw with Southampton on Saturday 3. Gareth Southgate will be pleased that John Stones was rushed straight back into Manchester City's starting team by Pep Guardiola after recovering from the abductor muscle injury that has kept him out since England duty in March. City have got two more games this week to give Stones, 24 at the end of this month, a chance to get a bit more match fitness before Southgate names his squad for the World Cup. John Stones started against Huddersfield, which would have delighted Gareth Southgate for. There's no doubt Manchester United have made progress under Jose Mourinho, with second place and a potential FA Cup win on the cards, but it has still been an unbelievably topsy-turvy season by the standards of English football's biggest club. The 1-0 defeat at Brighton on Friday night set an unwanted record, the first time they had ever lost away to all three promoted teams in a single season. United also went down 2-1 at Huddersfield in October and 1-0 to Newcastle in February.5. Luka Milivojevic has been battling with Manchester United's Nemanja Matic for a place in Serbia's World Cup lineup, but might just have won the chance to partner him. The 27-year-old midfielder on the fringes of the side under Frank de Boer at the start of the season has been a key part of Crystal Palace's survival campaign under Roy Hodgson. He was outstanding again in the 2-1 win at Stoke, running the most distance, 6.9 miles, and playing most accurate forward half passes, 30. Luka Milivojevic may have won the chance to partner Nemanja Matic at the World Cup 6. Expect Craig Dawson to be one of the first out of the exit door from West Bromwich Albion when the relegation, brilliantly put off by the win over Tottenham, is confirmed this week. The 28-year-old has switched seamlessly from right back to central defence under Darren Moore and was superb against Harry Kane in Albion's shock 1-0 win over Spurs, a £300,000 buy from Rochdale in 2010. He has two years left on a contract that may have a cut-price relegation escape clause. Celtic, Burnley and West Ham are among clubs who will have noted his 17 clearances against Tottenham and that he won 8 out of 9 duels with Kane.7. It will be interesting to see what impact Callum Wilson can have for Bournemouth next season now he's finally fully recovered from the two cruciate knee ligament injuries which wrecked his first two Premier League campaigns. The 26-year-old striker has rediscovered his phenomenal pace and caused Swansea all sorts of problems, including winning the free kick from which Ryan Fraser scored the winning goal. Wilson made 59 sprints with a top speed of 21.3 miles per hour. No player in the Premier League ran faster this weekend. Callum Wilson has rediscovered his blistering pace and caused Swansea a host of problems. 8. Gary Monk will get all the credit for keeping Birmingham in the championship after the final day 3-1 win over Fulham but Steve Cottrell should also get an honourable mention. Blues collected exactly half of the 46 points during the reign of the former Bristol City boss who wasn't allowed to bring in any of his own players as staff during the January transfer window. Point 9. 
Rochdale's Joe Thompson has shown huge courage in twice overcoming cancer but he also has a touch of class the 28-year-old scored the goal that beat promotion chasing Charlton to rescue his club's place in League One and then dedicated it to those still battling the disease Thompson, who began his career at Manchester United, was first diagnosed with nodular sclerosis Hodgkin's lymphoma in 2014, returned after having chemotherapy, and then needed more time off in March 2017 before being told he was in complete remission in June that year. Joe Thompson dedicated his goal against Charlton to those still battling cancer 10. Great news for football that Cruz Academy doesn't seem to have been damaged by the Barry Bennell scandal and the ongoing issues around former manager Dario Gradi, who remains suspended by the FA, the starting 11 picked by manager Dave Artel that beat Shelton M2-1 were all players who had graduated through Cruz's renowned youth system, Artel's young side, in danger of going out of League 2 at 1.16 of their last nine games to end up 10 points above the drop zone.